Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our next episode of our Worm PvP series here on Worm Desolation PvP server. In this episode, we're going to get to it, and we're going to learn how to make our loom so that we can make our meditation rug. Meditation paths are really important, specifically if you want Shield of the Gone, which does 50% less damage. So we already pulled up the crafting recipes. We already have our small nail. We did that last episode. We need three planks and 10 shafts and 10 strings. So the strings might be uh, the most difficult process here because we're going to have to forge for all that. But let's go ahead and make our planks while we're at it. All right, here we go. Quick, right? I mean, look how fast this is. In regular Worm Online, if you're a new character like this, you would be hoping that you could be this fast, but you just you couldn't be. I mean, 2.7 seconds per action, that's great. We can go ahead and drop that. Let's go ahead and get our carving knife out. And we're going to uh, make our 10 shafts, 11 shafts. Going to make our 11 shafts for this loom. Carpentry's already at, I mean, almost at 30. This is great fast now they have to be full full quality sometimes if you use a shaft and you fail it won't be full quality uh, and that just won't work make just a little extra perfect all right let's go in in here and start our loom at least I'm gonna start our loom in here made a spindle it's easy enough Okay, so we know that it makes a small nail and one plank. So let's go ahead and put a plank in there. Let's put our nails in there. And we're going to make what? Floor loom. Here we go. Failed the first one. It's okay. Fine carpentry is at two now. Oh, man, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to add the crafting window. And we're going to go ahead and uh, just add all these additional items because it's going to increase our fine carpentry skill. And, you know, uh, body control is already at 25. You start off at 25. So you can go ahead and ride horses. You know, that's always a pain in the butt when you start on a new server. You have to find a way to ride your horse. And you have to find a horse. There's plenty of horses here. The steps have plenty of uh, monsters that you can kill for your fight skill or uh, horses that you can ride. There's trolls. There's crocodiles. There's bear sharks, brown bears, black bears. Um, wolves. Now we haven't seen the Valerie creatures yet, which is really interesting. Death crawlers and no gumps. In fact, I think that might be bugged on Worm Unlimited itself because I haven't really seen them at all on the Worm Unlimited uh, game. One time I saw a death crawler, but that was it. So remember, we started a loom with no fine carpentry skill. And now look at us. I mean, we finished it with 20. All right, let's go ahead and make our cotton strings. At 20, you really see the, the boost. So our cloth tailoring now is two. And we need 10 cotton strings. We're probably going to have over 20 by the time we finish uh, break down. We're going to break down all of these into strings because we need that for our for our meditation rug. So if we go to meditation rug, okay, just a simple one. We don't need anything fancy. Okay, you need a floor loom and then a bundle of strings. And I forget actually how large of the kilogram you need for your strings. Um, you can look on the Wormopedia if you want to. In fact, I wonder if we if we can look that up here. Wiki search meditation rug. What does this say? This says here. Oops, I just finished that. Oh my goodness! One more. What does it say? Contains too little. Okay, we need to go foraging. How much string does it take? Let's 
go foraging down here. The great thing about being um, so close is that now we don't have to worry about, we can run into our mine in case the crabs start following us. We need cotton. That's what we need. We don't care about we don't care about this stuff. What I'm really excited for is really uh, having a cap on all of the um, the characteristics. That way, as a new player, when you start, you don't have to worry about competing against all of those um, older players. Because, you know, that's one of the thing about getting into uh, either playing Chaos or Elevation is that you have these characters that have been around since the beginning that the server opened and they're really, just really powerful. You can't, you know, you, there's no way that you can beat them one versus one or, you know, I saw a video today that was like 15 versus 3 and, and it was it was a decimation. <laughs> oh, I got a goblin on me. Okay, let's go. Run away from the goblin, please. We don't need blueberries. Let's find the cotton. Foraging. I and I did I Oops. I'm still chasing me. There he is. Yikes. Really hope I can find cotton by foraging. I think that's the right one now that I... Oh my goodness. Get out of here, please. I think I'm actually worried that I'm wrong. Oh my goodness. Let's get into our cave. Okay. Yep, cotton. Perfect. I was right. Oh, cool. There's a wolf. And a goblin chasing me. Let's see if we can run down here and... Oh yeah, one of the great things about the server, it actually tells you who logs in, and it kind of reminds me of like old deathmatch games where, you know, so-and-so enters the arena. Or, you know, maybe if you like Hunger Games, something like that. Although, maybe we can get Nappy to uh, every night. Uh, it shows all the people who, who died. <laughs> That'd be kind of neat. There's just so many monsters. Please stop. I just want to forage. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yep, thank you. Appreciate you hurting me. Oh, good. I've got some cotton. Praise the Lord. Let's drink some water while we're here. Let's drop these useless bundles of sticks. Oh, running on clay. Not a good idea. Running away from the monsters. Really good idea. Let's make it back to the cave. So in this episode, we attempted to create our loom, we forage for some cotton, and you know what? We're gonna finish. We're gonna finish our loom in this episode. We need to finish our loom, and then we're gonna make some cotton. We're gonna get some cotton again. We're gonna make string. We're gonna make a rug. I already showed you how to forage. Okay, you don't need a. A tutorial if you want there's a tutorial on my website that you can go ahead and read all right made it we made it back let's come
combine these strings. Spindle is going. You know what? Let's let's regain our stamina back. Let's be a lot faster. Here we go. Ten. Perfect. Okay, we'll have to use the rest of the cotton for our oop too far away. Let's get closer. this fine carpentry skill just delicious going up 21 already boom for me worm is fun building for me worm is not fun sitting here grinding and clicking all right so this faster timer action timer and faster skill gain is the type of worm that I like, which is why I moved away from worm online. I, I hated having to sit there for weeks or months or hours of playtime in order to actually enjoy the game. But that's just me. All right, we created our loom. And as you can tell, oops, we can add it to our crafting and we can make our rug. So next episode, we'll make our rug. Thanks for watching.